for some asymmetry we can kind of have some of these down and the other thing I guess is we could maybe lower some of these too like maybe they're all kind of at that layer although I don't think we can do that here with oh we can do that I thought that would interfere with the flower but it doesn't look like it I think I actually like that better just taking these guys down drop them down by one Did I not pick that up? Oh, go. Because I've got a funny feeling that they're going to be too close to the ceiling. Hey, thanks, Jared. And uh, thanks for everybody hanging out. I know this is a pretty kind of a slowish stream, even for me. It feels a little, um, a little slow, but uh, we'll change that because one thing I want to do, um, I'm trying to do new things with uh, with streams and by showing people uh, more of the server, I think that kind of keeps things fresh. So Matcast earlier had mentioned that he wants to do like a, a Mesa town and he sent me some coordinates and I will, I think before I end the stream, we'll take a run up north in the nether and we'll take a look at that. Yeah, I think that looks cool. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get some uh, sea lanterns. And I think it was, I've got iron so I can make some trap doors. Sea lanterns, we needed some dark oak fences. And I believe we also needed, I think it was this. I think that's what we used as like the button on the fan and then we'll need some item frames hope i have enough i do now what i don't remember is how high the sea the sea lanterns were off the ground i'm guessing it looks like it might be four blocks but it's it's an absolute crapshoot. Uh, and I also don't know where where they are located. I feel like there's only two. One of them is probably in the center, and then the other one is probably just off center. I think I took out the one that was over the fireplace because the the fan blades got in the way. I'm not really sure. I get the feeling we're going to need more than two in here to light it up, though. That's the only thing. So let's just grab this. This would be the middle of the room. So that's one, two, three, and I think this is four, where the, where the light goes. Could actually be higher than that. Now that I look at that. Yep, I'm thinking it's probably going to need to be one higher. And then one, that's the blade, space, and then blade, and then sea lantern. Tricky part is going to be this. So that actually touches which means I think the roof is actually dropped. I kind of, I'm okay with this roof. I like the idea of putting the panels in, but I also want to make sure that this connects the way that I want it to. Because if it does, we'd have to replace this. And I don't know what this is. I don't think this goes right outside, but it does. Okay, so we may not be able to do, we may not be able to do the pattern group that I want, but we can come to that later. Oh, 
Oh, thanks, Jared. Yeah, I like the banners down an extra block as well. I really wish there was a way for me to overlay Twitch chat in game, like for me to see Twitch chat come up like Minecraft chat, like in in this space right here. Like, I think that would be really cool if I could see Twitch chat there. If anybody knows if that's possible, let me know, because uh, it doesn't always really show up for me. I mean, it shows up, but like I, it doesn't distract me to the point of looking over. Ooh, I might have put these two close together. Yeah, this might. Wait a minute. How to? I... So if that's blade space, yeah, I think I might have to move, move this one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is how I did it. Whoop, not like that. Three and four. Yeah, that looks okay. I think I do think I might move this one one more to the side. It's the only thing they just feel a little bit too close, uh, and I couldn't put one here because the, it, the blade just gets too close to the hearth, and it looks silly because it's lighting just like right here, which doesn't make any sense. But yes, I think we are going to have to move this one. Oh, I wanted to catch that. For a minute here, we're going to have a double fan. All right, I give up. <laughs> Whatever. Let's grab all these things and just repeat this again. A little bit dizzying, disorienting, trying to do this. Okay. So I'm thinking that's going to look a lot better. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So that's good. Now, if we remove these torches, I think that's everything gone. Oh, no. That's still there. So if I take this torch out of my hand, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is, it's still really dark in here. It takes care. Oh, it doesn't even take care of this end. Brutal. Okay. We'll have to figure out another way. We might have to put something like a sconce or something on the wall here to try and sort that out can do this. Really? Oh, well. So it doesn't look all that good, but it works. I'm thinking maybe we do the same thing up here. So we can maybe maybe move the flower pot. Whoops. It's too bad because I really like that flower pot where it was, but we can make do and maybe do something like this. as if they're candles, sort of. And then maybe we can put the flower pot back 
on the side. I'd like to have a full-on flame down here, but I'm worried it would burn stuff. Does magma... I don't know if magma actually will stay lit like netherrack will. I think it does, but it would light that on... I would definitely light that log on fire. Hey, Stanley, how's it going? Thanks for coming in by. Jared, those trap doors should prevent spawns against the wall. You're right. Oh, smart man. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So even though it was dark back here, these trap doors should prevent that. Uh, we do, we have a trap door here. And so seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, six. There's a six, there's a six right here. And then there's seven, but there's a trap door there. That's on that block. So we have a couple spawning spaces back there, a lot here. And then everything over here is fine. This is this is dark, but there's a trap door there, so that should stop that. This is a spawning space. Hmm. What to do? I guess I could maybe I could put an end rod in here and maybe have like have a an end rod like on a table or something. Magpie tier, hello, welcome. Yeah, I know I should turn off fire tick on the server. I <laughs> felt bad Sharky lost his tree, but we should figure something out. And I'm doing okay, Stanley. Thanks for asking. Uh, this is still the end of the bridge, but we took a break from it for a couple weeks. I'm just, I'm finishing this up so I can call it done, is essentially what we're doing. And we still have some spawning spaces up here. It's not bad, but it's not great. And I really don't, I mean, those torches are okay, but they really distract from the hearth, which is what I didn't want. Uh, but I can't think of any other way to get light up here. I mean, we've got torches... We've got end rods. And I don't know. Like we, there's a possible, we could do something where we could put carpet down, but there's not a wide space. Like we could put, I feel like we could put a carpet here, you know, like it maybe hide some stuff, but it just, no matter where you put it, it just kind of borders on things. Like I think if I put down four blocks here, like if this was like a throw rug and we had light underneath it, wouldn't be too bad. It doesn't touch anything, but it's a, it's kind of a weird spot to have a rug, you know? I mean, we could have something there too. Because I know that those are hidden spaces. Like, we could totally do something there, no problem. Um, but a little that little strip of rug would look really bizarre, you know? So, this is a possibility, but it's just an odd shape. I mean, alternatively, we, alternatively, we could do a long rug. Just kind of goes through the middle of the room like that. Maybe not quite that far, but again, that just that one strip looks funny to me in my head. So anyway, uh, I don't know what to do about the ceiling. I'm really kind of, I'm kind of puzzled as to what would be the best, the best course of action. Um, I, I kind of want to lower the ceiling with those trap doors, but I don't know if it's uh I don't know if it's the right decision. Like I I feel like it's gonna interfere with with the lamps. Although it would hide that stuff, which I think was the whole point of me doing it. I 
I like the 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 ceiling fans having this two fence post um, stock though handle whatever you want to call it. I feel it looks better. So I don't know. Maybe we do. We could maybe do stairs. Could do dark oak stairs in here. Because that would sort of work. And then I guess we could put a slab. What is that? Oh, I see. So that's a slab and that's a full block. Hey, I'm McFly. I just joined the stream. I wonder if he's watching. Just let him know that I'm streaming. Hey, underscore funk. How is it going? I haven't talked to you in ages. So I think that'll, the stairs will be good to lower um, the side here, but it doesn't really do much for this weird end cap. I'm not exactly sure how to handle that. I could do this, but that looks dumb. Because we could do something really cool inside here with, with stairs. We could have like, you know, every other stair. We could do like a pattern like we did outside. But then use slabs, I think. Doing your daily drawing, awesome. I need to get back into the habit of daily drawing. I need to be doing more art streams and less Minecraft streams. So that's good, but then it creates this really straight gap right there, which I find odd. Uh, just locked in for the first time in forever, and I found a sign saying, don't forget to reset your sleep. Uh, hmm, <laughs> from past. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alistair leaving himself signs. Awesome. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I see the problem now. Okay. So this is tricky. While I really like the outside of this build, the inside is problematic and I'm starting to get dizzy looking at the ceiling in here. You completely disagree, Matcast? Meaning you don't think I should do more art streams? You think I should do more Minecraft streams? This is awesome. I haven't had this many people in the chat room in a while, so hopefully I can keep up. Well, I think one thing we can do while we're waiting here is make a few more banners and maybe keep this build from being a little bit too too symmetrical. And we can take some of these windows and maybe take them down to being half closed. Like I think maybe we can do half closed on this one and maybe kind of like being able to see out that one. Maybe we'll do that one too. And then we'll leave that one where it is. I think maybe one more. Can I make two more banners? Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Brought enough. Underscore, do you, um, do you stream when you draw? Or do you just draw? I meant to ask you. <laughs> Good to know, Matcast. I shall take that under advisement. I have to say it's a lot easier to stream Minecraft than it is to stream art. My computer does not want to stream Photoshop the way that I want it to. Or I shouldn't say my computer. OBS does not want to stream Photoshop the way that I would like. Uh, yeah, I really want to do something with how boxy the top of this room is. I think I just have to make a couple of these uh, these trapdoors and see where we stand. So if I was to put 
a lowered roof. Like what happens if I put something there? What height is that? So that's the top of that block. I think maybe I have to do this from, from the top of one of these fans. I think what's getting me so disor disoriented is, is stepping up and down on the beds. It's causing problems. Whoa, what is happening? My computer just decided to completely freeze. Tweet deck failed. That's good to know. Where's my mouse? That was weird. Minecraft just like slowly minimized into my system tray. That was bizarre. Oh, I can't even get up here. Hold on. There we go. So if we did this, Dude, underscore funk. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. So how would this look if we had this all lowered like that? And the follow. Underscore funk, dropping the noise. Thanks, man. If you raise it up and put some slabs, you could make it look like pastor and beams. I'd have to look up what pastor and beams is. Oh, I hear, <laughs> I hear an Alistair. There's a nine McFly kicking around. Uh, yeah, so like, I don't know if I want to lower the ceiling to that height. I could, I just don't know if I really want to do that. I feel like I want to go back into the, the creative world and look around and see how I did the ceiling in there. Cause I liked it in there and I can't seem to remember how I did it. Yeah, that seems like it's probably the best course of action. So even though Alistair's on his way, <laughs> I'm going to log out real quick. What's this? I'm going to do this right when he gets here. <laughs>